This is a photo taken in 2009 when NASA launched the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. This is a depiction of that orbiter, and its primary objective is to make scientific discoveries of the moon. It uses seven instruments to observe the moon, and one of them is a camera that was developed at Arizona State University in Tempe, Arizona. They refer to the camera as LROC, which is an acronym for Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter Camera. It is a three-camera system that takes black and white high-resolution images and multi-spectral images of the lunar surface. These images are detailed enough to see the six Apollo landing sites. And this photo here was taken from NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland, with two laser beams tracking the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter as it orbits the moon. To get to the images of the landing site, type in quickmap.lrock.asu.edu and you'll come up with this beautiful picture of the moon. The first landing site I'm going to take you to is the Apollo 11 landing site, which occurred on July 20th, 1969. If you look at these three what they call dark seas, as in not letter C, but S-E-A, as in ocean sea. The top one here is called the Sea of Serenity. The middle one here is called the Sea of Tranquility. And the one down here is called the Sea of Fertility. It was here in the Sea of Tranquility that Apollo 11 landed, and Neil Armstrong said, Tranquility Base here, the Eagle has landed. And that occurred right here. I'll take you to it. Zoom in. This crater and these two craters are very helpful. As you zoom in, start looking at this crater and you look up above it about the 11 o'clock position and you start to see an object that looks like like an arrowhead or maybe the letter V. Start to focus in on that. Center it, and you follow it down to about right here to this crater. And about the 9, 30, 10 o'clock position of this crater, right here, this little crater, you start to zoom in on that one. And as you get closer, you'll see a little tiny black dot right here, and that is the lower half of the Apollo 11 lunar module. Let's zoom in on it. And you can see it right here casting a shadow on the moon. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin walked around this area while Michael Collins manned the orbiter that was going to take them home later. The two astronauts ended up spending a total of 21 and a half hours on the surface of the moon and two and a half of those hours were spent walking around here. Now here's a photo that has been worked on. You can see the lunar module here. You can see the what they call the PSEP, which stands for Passive Seismic Experiments Package. That was left right here. You can actually see the footprints or the trail made by their footprints where they walked up to the edge of this little crater. And it was up over here where they set the camera down. And right here is the LRR, which stands for Laser Ranging Reflector Experiment. It was a device that was designed in such a way that when a laser is aimed at it from somewhere on Earth, it reflects the light right back to the spot that that laser came from. And apparently it is the only Apollo experiment that is still sending back data to this day. And back here at the IROC quick map, you can see what the image looks like now. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull back. And I'm now going to show you where Apollo 12 landed on November 19th, 1969. But I'm going to use over here in the lower left corner where it says latitude and longitude. I'm going to click on this little icon here. And I'm going to type in the latitude that I got on the internet. You can get the latitudes and the longitudes of all the landing sites on Wikipedia. You go to the Wikipedia site. Scroll down. Look for the landing site. This area is called the Ocean of Storms. 
and you see these coordinates, but you need to click on these coordinates and compare them to the coordinates you see here, because these right here are the, co the correct coordinates. The ones that are on the Wikipedia page aren't always correct. So what you need to do is take the negative 3.01239 and the negative 23.42157 and put them into the coordinates and it should take you right to the landing site. Negative 3.01239 comma negative 23.42157 you click go and it highlights the point at which they landed right here in the ocean of storms. And then I'm going to go up here and click plus the crosshair goes away, don't worry about it. If you want it back, just click Go again and zoom in. And here it is, right here. This is the place that Charles Pete Conrad and Alan Bean landed the lunar module while Richard Gordon was in the command module orbiting the moon. This landing occurred November 19, 1969, and their goal was to land very close to the Surveyor 3, which was launched in 1967 in order to get dirt samples of the moon. They were successful, and if you look right here on the picture, you can actually see the Surveyor 3 sitting right here. And they also up here put what is called the ALSEP, which stands for Apollo Lunar Surface Experiments Package. That sits right here. And here's a photo taken by Alan Bean. It's Pete Conrad standing next to Surveyor 3 with the lunar module sitting in the background. And once again, the Surveyor 3 is sitting here. The lunar module is here, so that photo was taken from about this from about right here, pointing back in this direction. Once again, I'm going to zoom out. And I'm going to put in the coordinates for Apollo 14. And those coordinates are negative 3.64530 and negative 17.47136. Click Go. This area was called Framaro. And now I will zoom in. And there's the lower half of the lunar module sitting right here. Apollo 14 landed February 5th, 1971. Alan Shepard and Edgar Mitchell were the astronauts who walked on the moon, while Stuart Rosa operated the orbiter. You can see a trail that they made here because they went on quite a walk. And you can see the ALSEP right here. Once again, that stands for the Apollo Lunar Surface Experiments Package sitting right here. But there it is the Apollo 14 Lunar Module Landing Pod. I'm going to zoom out. And I've entered the coordinates for the Apollo 15 landing site. That's 26.1322 and 3.6339. Click Go and zoom in. And here is the Apollo 15 landing site, which occurred July 30th, 1971. Dave Scott and James Irwin were the astronauts that walked on the moon, while Alfred Warden orbited the moon. This area is called Hadley Rill, 
and Apollo 15 was the first moon landing to use a lunar roving vehicle. And you can actually see that roving vehicle sitting right here. And over here you can see their all set, their Apollo Lunar Surface Experiments package over here. But this was the first vehicle to be driven on the moon right here. Apollo 15 landing was also the mission where they did the famous hammer and feather experiment on the surface of the moon. They ended up driving about a total of 17 miles or about 28 kilometers in the lunar roving vehicle and they ended up spending a total of 67 hours parked on the moon. I'll zoom out and go to the next one. And I've entered the coordinates for the Apollo 16 landing site. Negative 8.97301 and 15.50019. Click Go and zoom in. And here you can see it right here. It's not as clear as some of the other photos, but you can still see that that is definitely the landing pod for the lunar module. The landing occurred on April 21st, 1972. John Young and Charles Duke walked around on the moon while Ken Mattingly orbited the moon. They spent a total of 71 hours on the surface of the moon. They also took a lunar roving vehicle with them and you can see it sitting right over here. And the Allsep appears to be sitting right over here. I'm going to zoom out. And the coordinates for Apollo 17 are 20.1908 and 30.7717. Click Go and zoom in. You can see the lunar module landing pod sitting right here. This, this one is a little darker, but you can definitely make out where they landed. And the Apollo 17 landed December 11th, 1972. Eugene Cernan and Harrison Schmidt were the two astronauts that walked around on the moon and drove the lunar roving vehicle around, which you can see sitting right over here. And Ronald Evans orbited the moon. These two astronauts ended up spending a total of 75 hours on the surface of the moon. If you're interested in exploring this yourself, just remember, go to quickmap.lroc.asu.edu. So there you have it, the six Apollo mission moon landing sites right here on quickmap.lroc.asu.edu.